Here's my shaving buddy. Most shaves. She makes it in here to hang out with me. I was starting to get my gear ready. Luna decided she wanted to come in and hang out too. So I got both my girls with me. She doesn't usually come in. Not to stay very long anyways. Welcome. Well, before I could hit record, Luna demanded that she wanted out. So I let her out. Figured I'd do a shave in the house today. It's been hailing and trying to snow. Yes, it's the middle of April. I don't think Oregon knows that though. Today, uh, tonight, I've got my new, I've used it two or three times now. I picked up Sterling's pre-shave. And I placed that in my big tub here. Sweat the face, knock some stuff on the floor, and get this going. Just like my last video that I did almost a month ago to the day, I was looking earlier, it's March 15th, and it's April 14th. I had said that I wanted to do some PIF videos from the house, and that's what I want to continue to kind of focus on. So far, I'm liking this pre-shave. It's huge. It's giant. My blade that I'm using today is the Lord Blue Sword. Size comparison there. And it's just this super thick. Lord Blue Sword is one of Lord's newest blades, or in fact, I think it still is their newest blade. It's been around for a couple of years now, but compared to their other blades, it's new. I had bought a 50 pack oh, about two years ago or so. Maybe longer than that. Wait time flies probably longer than that. And I'd ran out and thanks to the community I was actually able to find some more a couple months back. Today's soap is Sterling's Coniferous. Play on words from conifer or conifer rather, which is a pine tree or a, a type of pine tree or conifers are pine trees. Um, tomorrow, Friday, doing my giveaway for bull goose. And so I figured I'd use one of my bull goose brushes. I have three or four of them. I know I at least have three. I have the bull goose one done by Mred that's in my shade brush maintenance video. Um, and then I have this guy. This is the one I'm going to be using today. It's the Shave Nooks 2019 limited edition brush. This is a European white badger. It's an amazing brush. And then I missed out on the 21. And I'm, I've got to get my hands on the 20. I just thought I'd show this one off real quick today. This is the 2020 limited edition Shave Nook by Samoog. And it's a silver tip. And this is, I have several Samoog brushes. And this is by far the nicest knot that I have from them. When the Shave Nook Bull Goose commissions a brush to be made for the commemorative or for the anniversary it's always top of the line. Um, I've only ever owned the two, but I've seen, of course, the others and the one that came out this year. I can't believe that I missed it, but I did. Today's razor will be a piff. Oh, I got this coniferous, did I say, um, from Aaron Hall on Instagram. This showed up in the mail one day. Um, I've sent Aaron some things. And uh, so he had had my address, and without saying anything to me, he sent me a couple of samples. This one from Sterling being one of them is already just blowing up inside my Captain's Choice Obsidian Bowl. I love this bowl. And it and this brush are just making me a killer lather. And that's before it even touches my pre-shave. I want to say this is a 26 millimeter knot. I forget what the loft down it is. It's a nice big handle though. I got a great lather going already. I'll do the rest on the face. Yeah, oh, I still got the sink running. Sorry about that. So the razor, I think I started to say that before I had a, my squirrel moment. Let's get some water on there now. No, I'm gonna need it. Um, razor 
this guy from Angelo and Crystal. I know I like slants. And Crystal had picked it up and used it once. And she didn't care for it. And they know I like bay rums. And I'll get into that bay rum shave. Maybe in my next one, or maybe after that. But they sent me two things. One was a soap that they knew I didn't have. And then the other was this rose gold Parker semi slant. I'd had the Parker slant on my short list for a while. And uh, to be honest, I was looking at the graphite. I think that's what it's called, right? Graphite. I want to say gunmetal, but I think. They call it a graphite, if I recall correctly. And I probably never would have grabbed the rose gold. But that being said, once it arrived, and looking at my phone, it's not doing any justice. Just like I don't think the photo is doing justice because in person, it looks really, really cool. It's it's not at all what I thought it was going to be, and I love it. I really do. I love the color. It's beautiful. It, this phone is doing a horrible job of capturing what this knurling actually looks like. Uh, I've shaved with it twice now. I've had it for a little while, a month or three, I don't know. I'm horrible at keeping track of time. I'm never late for dinner, I can tell you that. But remember when I had for dinner last week, sometimes it's a challenge. Not used to this shaving in the house with the camera, guys. I've gotten spoiled out there in the woods, I think. I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing extremely well. Can't complain at all. This car can't complain. She's down there sleeping. My 10 year old Siberian Husky American Timberwolf mix. World's greatest dog. My aftershave today will be my splash and the one ounce travel jar from Bricktown Grooming and that's Hell's Bells and it's Pine and Citrus. Uh, it's been a while since I've done this. So tomorrow I've got the giveaway with Bull Goose. Phil was generous enough to offer up the soap. I love giving back to the community. This community has done so much for me, um, not just materialistically either, just the, the friendship. Um, a lot of these guys I've become very good friends with. And in fact, a handful of you, I've gotten closer to you than I've gotten to anyone in my personal life. In years, I've gotten, you know, really comfortable with my group, you know, little world you know we go to work every day come home i've got my beautiful bride she's my bestie my bff as my daughter would say what more does a boy need other than maybe his mama and a husky wolf mix I could swear I heard Sakari say something there in disapproval. I'm looking in the phone, damn it. So tomorrow, the giveaway for the Avante, or Asylum Levante, a Bull Goose exclusive, made in Spain. I've been wanting to do these videos for a while as I've talked about before and now that I've got them up and running what I started to say I think a second ago was I'd like to grow this stuff is amazing it's on my short list to buy from Sterling Squirrel um, and so I've always enjoyed giving back I've done a bunch of giveaways on my Instagram and I'll be honest and straightforward, the part of my goal with these giveaways that I'm lining up is to, one, grow my channel, my YouTube channel, 
and to to of course give back um, and give the community vendors artisans a chance to give back alongside with me. Um, I want to at most only do one video from the house in a given month, which I've hit my target with this one. My target is to do one video outside, a minimum of one video outside each week. And the goal of my channel is to one, encourage people to get outdoors, wherever you may live, wherever you may work. I was thinking, you know, from the very first time that I was told by Clinton to make a channel, what came to my mind was I went, didn't want to do bathroom videos. You know, I get, don't get me wrong, I love seeing people's bathrooms, right? But I like doing things differently too. And I don't know the, the idea, I'm tearing myself up here, the idea just popped into my mind. That is part of this comes from my love of the outdoors, my love of the Pacific Northwest, I think. And before the channel, I was already doing outdoor shaves. I was doing it much more primitive, though, than what I'm doing now. I love sitting out on my back porch and shaving out there in the summer. That's where actually where it started. And then I started, you know, when we go on hikes, go on morning hikes with my girls and uh, do a shave then. And so as soon as I started even thinking about doing these videos, I knew I wanted to get outside with them. And as we got closer to where we are today, I knew that I wanted to do them outside. And I wanted to really encourage others to get out. You know, and after all this time that we spent indoors the last two years, for me, it has just been amazing to get out. This lather is just something. Love this brush. Like I said before, bring you into my world, show you my world, as crazy as it can be sometimes, take you out of your world and into the great Pacific Northwest. Hopefully you forget about what's going on in your life and in the process you're inspired to get outdoors and the icing on the cake would be as if people have did outdoor shaving videos or even just outdoor shaving pictures for shaves of the day and then you know see the world through other people's shaves I think that'd be really cool so this bull goose giveaway is just the first of five or six that are lined up right now I'll be giving away razors and depending on which one gets here first, um, Phil, not Phil at Bull Goose, but the other Phil, Phil with Bricktown Grooming. He's mailing me a six pack of his tra travel size. These are one ounce bottles. So the winner of that giveaway will get six ounces. Um, the only one that's, I'm not even going to try and remember what they all are. He said, um, and I screenshotted it so that I'd, I'd have it for reference. Um, Ben at Shave It, he and I have become good friends over the last year and I love his shadow razor. He's donated soap from foam foam it's called foam spelt foam I learned that after 
talking with him my outdoor video a while back. My first one, I called it FOM, and he thankfully corrected me in a DM. That's how we generally talk is DMs on Instagram. Uh, some other giveaways I got lined up is with Carrie at Soap Commander. Um, I'll kind of keep that one under wraps for the moment. Uh, that one will be in May. And then Heritage Hill has donated a $25 gift card. And I actually think we'll do that one next. And with that one, I'll throw in a razor or a blade sample pack or or something. Um, I got a bunch of different ideas of, of things to throw in, but John and Josh at Heritage Hill have been kind enough to offer a $25 gift card to their website. So we got, I've got six, Bull Goose, Shave It, Riptown, Soap Commander, Heritage Hill. Oh, and then I spoke, well, I'll keep the other ones under wrap. Just I've gotten a soft commitment out of one, but so far I've been lucky enough that all six that I've reached out to and I'm reaching out to them. They're not reaching out to me. Uh, I just want to make that, that clear. Um, they've been gracious enough to not only say yes, but to, uh, with enthusiasm, enthusiastically say yes. Other than maybe Disneyland, I don't know anywhere else on earth of a place that's as cool as the wet shaming community. Something truly special, guys. It really is. Almost on a daily basis, I'm blown away by something that's going on in the community, whether it's so much generosity, a new product, a new artisan, um, a lesion. Shannon is the artist. I'm so excited for her products. I actually have a shirt coming from her right now um, and her new splash. Super cool. I'll um, we'll talk about that another day. I plan on using her soaps in the video very soon. That was another piff from uh, Sean's uh, Salfer Shaves. Probably slaughtering how you say your name. Was it Salfer? I don't know. But uh, I got two of her soaps as a gift. Good enough shave for an evening shave. I'll be smooth when I go to bed. It's the important part. I hope to get two outdoor shave week uh, shaves in this week. Let me pause the video real quick and I'll rinse off appropriately, unlike out in the woods. So as I wrap up here, there's one more thing I wanted to talk about real quick. It kind of goes in line with what my last video. Lord Platinum. Lord Platinum. Lord Platinum. These are all the same blade. All three. Same blade. This blue sword is a different blade. Just want to throw that in there real quick. Lord does that with a whole bunch. Of, a lot of different companies. Um, like I was saying last week or earlier in the week, whenever that was. Uh... Lord is the king of rebranding. And I think, you know, a lot of that has to do with a lot of these blades were made before the internet. And so you had all these different markets. And like I said before, what worked in one market didn't necessarily work in another. And so, like I said in the last video, what was big bin in one country or one area was shark in another. And back before the internet, none of us would have known any of the wiser. Simply wouldn't. The internet's changed everything, including this. And I think it's the kind of thing that these blade makers just look at it as, well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
And I'm a numbers guy, so I can't help but think that the numbers must be there for them to continue to uh, make all these different blades. I don't believe Paul Silver went away. I believe Paul Silver was rebranded and is now found in the Wismet. I believe the original Wismet went away, but that's a topic for another day. All these blades though, like I've talked about before, they smell, smell so good. Piney, citrusy, just like it says on the label. It goes extremely well with this soap. Almost too well like it was meant to be. But I have a Rockwell 6C and a Rockwell 6S, and then I have a whole bunch of Mercurs, and the Mercur heads are all the same. The Mercur on the 34C, or HD, whatever you call it, is the same as the 23C, the same as on the 30B, the same that's on the 38C. Um, Mercur really only has a couple different heads, and that's currently in production. You have the Future, the Progress, and then you have the 37 and the 39 slant, exact same head, different handle, and then basically everything else is exactly the same. It's just what color the handle is, how long the handle is, and then the girth of the handle. Mercur is a one-trick pony. Um, I love Mercur, don't get me wrong, I have like 15 of their razors, um, but they're a one-trick pony. Um, and a lot of these companies is, are that way. Look at um, Edwin Jagger, another razor that I love, the DE89. That's been resold how many different ways. Um, again, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't already and you're watching this video, my giveaway ends tomorrow night, Friday, on the 15th. I think I said 8 p.m. Pacific. Type Bold Goose in the comments on that video. Be a subscriber. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.